Admiral's log. The outcome of the sea conflict with China has been largely in our favor, and the Chinese fleet has been significantly diminished. Our land invasion from the Korean Peninsula into Chinese Manchuria has begun, and we're making progress towards all of our goals. In addition, a naval invasion has been launched in Kiao Chao Bay. The combination of our naval and land forces will prove to be a powerful force, and I'm confident that we'll be able to achieve both objectives. The morale among the men remains high despite the challenges of war. They're proud of their successes on the battlefield. However, there is also a sense of longing as they miss their homes and families. Many ships have been out at sea for up to half a year, and during that time a lot can happen in family life. As much as I sympathize, they will have to hang in there a little longer as we almost have China where we want them. Hey guys, still here and welcome to episode 10. It is August 1917 and the Taibo, one of the Mikaho class battleships, slightly modernized already, is going up against the Zexu mortar ship. That is the original Zexu class, or rather the first name of the class, um, as well as the Guangwen. A couple of heavy cruisers and a light. I'm only escorted by a couple of my not so great light cruisers and a destroyer. So the Taibo is going to have quite a lot of work. She is sporting more guns than what? Well, she has 16 guns on paper. Can she fire all of those at the same time? Yes, but it's not easy because you got to go full broadside. Um, making this ship work does require that somebody else spots. So let's go with the Tokitsukaze and have her spot. We've already been spotted. Lovely. Slow down. Yep, there's the incoming fire. I do want to start whacking those battleships quickly. Because I am really not very uh, enthusiastic about my CLs. Generally pretty awful. But... Like I said in the previous episode, I just don't have anything better to replace them with. And that's the biggest problem. I don't have a better option. This is what I have. How's weather? Pretty good. Alright. So Kitsukaze. Please spot something to shoot. Supposedly it's about 10 kilometers out. Relative to the battleship at like 15 there. 14, 8. I got something that I can target. So what is spotting the Taibo from so far away? I mean, I am displacing 46,000 tons, so that's probably not helpful. Ah, targets. This is probably their spotter. This thing right here. The light cruiser. <clears throat> okay. And that's their heavy cruiser group. Turn back. I don't want you to die. Now, what's my battleship up to? Because sometimes it just decides to switch targets midway. Mm, I want to have that battleship out of commission first. I think that's the biggest priority. It's going to be a couple of 11-inch guns, which will no longer be shooting me. But let's try and make that a priority. And as opposed to what I did previous, I will try and keep the Taibo as a longer-range shooter. Especially considering the fact that the enemies have torpedoes, and generally quite a lot of them, especially that light cruiser. Oh, come on, that didn't hit anything? They lost sight of the destroyer. Good. Flooding. Very nice. That's the first hit. Aft belt overpen. I didn't know overpens caused flooding now. They changed that. Why is my accuracy so bad? I'm very interested in dealing with the cruisers right now. I mean, if the CLs can do something useful, by all means. If they can set a fire, by all means. But I don't feel it's a priority right now. This is one of those 12-inch guns, essentially, and this is another 12-inch gun. So, uh, gotta be a bit careful, but I just want to completely wreck one of their battleships first. To take a couple of 11-inch guns, or rather a lot of 11-inch guns, out of commission quickly. Because they carry 12. They can't fire all 12. But they can do a really damn good job at trying. If they get the right circumstances, and they might be able to fire all 12. So, let's not have that situation happen. But beyond positioning the Taibo for ideal firing circumstances, there's not that much that I can do. Well, I can smoke up the Taibo. 
using the light cruiser group. There, another flooding. This is going quite well. Damage the main tower. That's going to reduce their accuracy if I keep actually hitting that thing. Is this going to wreck your accuracy or no? Shooting target behind smoke, shooting through smoke. Yeah, this is wrecking your accuracy, but probably not as much as his. Locked. Not as much as his. So how much pen do you have? Yeah, you got those massive big shells. Oh, this light cruiser is getting unlucky. Also, they're pushing in. I don't like them pushing in. Kill this thing. What? That was... Interesting. I did a lot less... A lot less shells landed on the target than I expected. Let's, let's put it that way. Go again. Come on. Can we just get the light cruiser while we're at it? No. Not really. I do feel like the ship is getting the message across. The Taibo is doing a lot of damage. 3.8k done. 3.6k was hers. Yeah, block, 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 ricochet. Go to HE. <clears throat> These things do have a fairly healthy amount of bulkheads, but she's already been damaged. Maybe we can set a whole bunch of fires on her and get an overwhelming fire situation. Guan Win. You already lost a turret, she's listing. Oh, that's a few fires, not enough. Need to do better. Doing some angle warnings on some of my turrets. CL7 clicks out. Go on. That's more like it. More fires. This is one way to skin a cat. Just put a whole bunch of fires on that ship. Look at the amount of shells that they carry. A thousand AP shells, have that increased? Mm, no. Standard ammo loadout. Interesting. More fires, more... Destroying casemates, that's cute, but it's not what I need. The Taibo has taken some damage, but... <laughs> it's just... Completely... Oh. Shouldn't have said that. Not even in contrast, or in, in any kind of comparison relative to the damage that she's done. Now, you've been badly damaged, but beyond a few parts of your hull, I still can't do very much. Hammer them with HE again. He's gonna keep pounding those sides of the ship. Because eventually the armor gets weary. There you go. The armor gets weary and it gets damaged. As that happens, it becomes substantially easier to pin this ship. So I'll take one more volley with HE, and then we're going AP. Uh, do smoke up now, CLs, if you can. Go on, you're going to switch to AP. <clears throat> okay. One win. I don't think the accuracy or the, the penetration mechanic is quite... Telling the whole story here? Because I think we can get some pens here. Ha <laughs> No. Oh, still ricochets everywhere. Alright. Is this thing doing anything? It's done 600 damage against what? A cruiser? Yeah. Okay. Repeat? Yeah, now we're getting floodings. <clears throat> That's what I was hunting for. Floodings. Oh, if the Queen High gets in the way... By all means, try. Ah, too late. Come on, finish them. Yes! Destroyed main tower. That's your damage control taking a big hit. Your rudder's been badly hit. You've got fires. You've lost 20% of your crew. It's a $41 million ship as opposed to my 40... Sorry, $137 million ship. But yeah, it is likely that my ship will win this fight. Okay, so that's one down. Uh, let's go for cruiser next. 8.7% chance to pen. 14 inch armor there, 7 inch there, plus 100%. You destroyed a main gun? These cruisers are hitting it with those 11.9s. There, destroyed a main gun in return. <laughs> temper, temper. Well done. 
Now keep doing it. But you probably won't get a lot of options or opportunities because they only got two turrets. So if you destroy the second turret, the GUI is essentially toothless. Locked. Go with HE. Soften up the target. Turn the ship a little because one of my turrets is not firing. It's the second one. So I'm not perfectly angled against the target. There we go. Now it is. Everything fires. Ooh. <laughs> Yeah, he felt that. He felt that. This is the high-end HE pen. Apparently that went right through the bow armor, because they're four belts, two inches, so four inches effective. And this HE, at about, well, let's say 10,000, 10,000 meters, does more. So yeah, the GUI is no longer that dangerous, but I do want her gone. Just such a Blast! No pun intended. Watching the ships fight. Just these massive broadsides, missing everything. It's spectacular to watch. Dude, overpen though. What the hell? You're only eight clicks out, but you don't carry torpedoes. You do carry guns. Perhaps I should switch my attention briefly, because this guy is potentially a risk. Whereas the GUI might be too badly damaged and flooded to actually be any kind of a threat. Because she cannot bring her guns to bear. And this thing is still a stable firing platform, so this thing will bring its guns to bear. Oh! <laughs> Thank you. That's your main tower dead. Yeah, these things are fantastic. I need more of these. Oh, extensive fire. One salvo. <laughs> yes, please. That's what I want to see. Blocked. Fine, finish off this guy. I still got a CL zipping around somewhere. Here. Smokescreen. Uh, I need to turn the... Oh, flooding. I need to turn the ship again. More flooding. 5.5k damage. You're pretty dead. Turn back. There you go. Ibo just doing 23k almost by itself. Now, I know it's an odd design, but these things are absolutely murderous. Is that turret dead? Old. Yeah, it's one central line that's gone. Okay. It's not as bad as I thought, but uh, still don't quite like it. Oh well. Let's have her do some more work against the class leader. See how much they can enjoy HE fire. Six inch superstructure though. That's substantial. You got no ammo for your AP for your HE shells. And your AP can pen me? No. Okay. So we got all the time in the world. That means that I can probably keep this ship very well intact. And with that, I don't need to take probably more than a month to fix her. So she's going to be able to get right back out there. And I like that. Oh, it's the CL. Gosh, got him. Just a partial pen for 7 damage. Yeah, penning this with AP is... Possible if you hit the tower. Beyond that, it's unlikely. Locked. We got 48 HE shells left. After that, I'm gonna have to close in. But this guy's faster than I am. Unfortunate. Should we pay some attention to the CL? Like let them know that we acknowledge their existence. Is that your 3-inch guns doing 400 damage? That's a CL. Why am I firing AP? HE. HE, Tybo. Blow them away. <laughs> yes. 8,000 damage. I'm a cruiser. Okay, then. Uh, let's get some use out of these CLs, other than... The Where are you going? Whatever. But they look pretty. 
Um, we're going to send these guys right into the battleship. They do pay them some mind because they are carrying torpedoes. AI despises player ships with torpedoes. So the moment that something so much as looks like a torpedo on a ship, it's going to get hit by basically every ship on the fleet. Ah, destroyed main gun. Very good. If you could just slow them down in some way, shape, or form, that would be pretty much what I need. I need a flooding. Or... A funnel damage is not really going to do it. But I need a little more than that. At least my CLs right now are moving faster. This guy's doing 17 knots. 16-4. There you go, that's damage to the funnel. They only got one. They got one funnel there. Port side has one of the turrets out, that's helpful. Wait, did we actually destroy another main gun? No, we destroyed the second, or the, the same one. There's something else that I think that you just really need to change in this game. If a gun's been destroyed, it's been destroyed, so don't tell me it can get destroyed again. Because that's just silly. Something's either dead or it's not dead, but it doesn't get dead again. I'm not talking Game of Thrones. Not kicking it, it's already dead. Um, zero percent chance to pen. HE would like a word. Ricochet. We're out of HE ammo. That's unfortunate. Where are you going? Where are you going? Is it listing? No, it's perfectly safe. Okay, so that's going to make it a bit more difficult to try and get this thing to not fire anymore. If it was listing, it wouldn't be able to use as many guns. But I think approaching from behind is actually not a bad idea. How many guns can you get on a target that's right behind you? Oh, I did destroy more turrets. I've lost one there. No, sorry, I only destroyed one. Okay, you cannot really do that much if a target's behind you. I mean, it's not perfectly safe for the Suma to be here. But, uh, it's not terrible. Oh, no, 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 that, that is not a good idea. That's really not a good idea. Also, Taibo, I think... Yeah, we're gonna push you to bigger speeds. Save your ammo, I might need it later. This subject is making itself a bit of a nuisance to kill. It's doing what now? Almost 20 knots. Not its top speed. With a damaged hull, I suspect it cannot get to top speed anymore. 19.8, yeah. Throw out a torpedo, Suma. See what it does. You guys, go to flank speed. Just throw out a torpedo, I don't care. Go aggressive. I just want this to have the ship respond so it changes direction. And by doing so, it's going to slow down. 18-8, 18-5, 18-1, the torpedo destroyed. 18, 18-2, 18, she's speeding back up again. What sort of engine do you have that does that? Standard turbines. With a vengeance. 19-4. Battleship's still 16 clicks away. Ow. Oh. He's so that way. Zuma. Starboard torpedo launcher, perhaps. You got one of those, so... Please make it work. Starboard torpedo launcher not launching. Okay, Kiso, green. Mission to launch granted. Port site launcher. Maybe death by a thousand cuts. I mean, I'll get the job done, but it's just tedious. I want to get land a couple of big hits and torpedoes on him. Battleship 16 clicks out. She's definitely making progress. Smoke. Torp away. Instantly the AI responds. 13 knots, 12, 9, 12, 4, 12, 2. 
12, 6, 12, 4, 11, 7. Interesting. Nine knots. This is definitely going to allow my battleship to catch up quick. Just go straight at the target. I know you'll not be able to use many guns, but I just need you to get there. Credit where credit is due. These cruisers have done 1,400 damage to the target now. Oh, she dodged the torp, and now she's speeding up again. Stop resisting arrest. He's a starboard launcher away. Kashi, port launcher away. But the ship's already dodging. Suma should be able to join the... Oh, extensive fire. We did it. There you go. Took me long enough, but the job's done. Ship has been eliminated. 11,500 victory points for that battle group. That's rich. Okay, um, I guess battleships are worth a lot. <clears throat> this is also going to give me a better crew on my Taibo battleship, because you do get experience from battles like these. So I'm really quite grateful that the Taibo did as well as she did. Of course, she's going to have to take some time off and go for repairs, but it's not going to be as bad. The only problem that I do have, of course, is that my shipyards are a little busy. No. Um, and because of that, my whole fleet repair program is taking a little longer than I would like. Like, we're 407,000 tons. Let's take a couple of ships that are taking up quite a lot of tonnage. And not repair or build those as quickly. So suspend. Uh, Taibo only needs one month. That's excellent. That's going to free up another 46,000 tons. You're going to need two months. You're going to need four months. Suspend. Suspended. Suspended. Battle cruisers refitting the heavy cruiser Nokugiri. Suspend. Better? No. 20,000 tons. So that's basically two cruisers. Uh, refit, suspend. Refit, suspend. Damn it. Fine. We're a little over, it's not as bad. <clears throat> now, what I have noticed, and this is a problem, the army is fucking up badly. In this war, I have scored on the water six times the amount of victory points that the Chinese have scored. So I'm 61,000 victory points in. The army has gained about 40,000-ish and changed. Let's say 43, 44. The Chinese gained 10,000 points on the water. They gained 90,000 points ashore. All my work could be undone by some incompetent idiot that's running the army. Now, to be fair, if this push into Manchuria works, I'm going to get a nice little province with it. If it does not then that could be the end of the war, and that could mean that I lose the war. Because you're just spending a lot of victory points, or you're, the enemy's taking a lot of victory points, because you lose this invasion. So that's one element of the game that I really don't like, because I have absolutely no control over it. If the army would like inform me that they're doing something that might not be to the best of their interest, then yeah, I can understand that um, I might be able to do something with fire support or distraction or what have you, but if it's just going on like they're doing right now, then I don't like it. We didn't even sink the convoy, come on. It's still 1917, so I cannot actually design a new cruiser as per my own rules, because I already designed the Wakaba class. Speaking of, when are the Wakabas expected? Seven months. Okay. As for light cruiser hulls... Uh, I'm getting battle cruiser hulls. That's cute, but I need light cruiser designs. Let's prioritize cruiser designs for a little bit. Until we have something better. The naval invasion is on turn two out of seven. We got way more tonnage than we actually need. So this should be a cakewalk for the troops. And uh, let's see how the next couple of turns are going to go. On to the next battle. The battlecruiser Guilin is defending two transports. Must be a high value transport because this guy is displacing 28,000 tons, which means that they are overweight. 
probably down to those 14 inch guns that they carry. Now I'm going to have to send all the ships in at once, so it's going to be another one of those death by a thousand cuts operations, in order to overwhelm the enemy battlecruiser. In this case, I don't strictly care about the transports. I just want to make sure that their battle, their, sorry, their battle cruiser dies, because that is worth a lot of points. Uh, I want all the light cruisers forming up in a nice little div. Now uh, the DDs, still the older design, so we're going to have to wait for these guys to push on the enemy in one big group, because they don't carry enough torpedoes to sink them at uh, once by themselves. As for the heavy cruiser, uh, Ashigara has not been updated yet. Oh, they're so close. Wow. And the accuracy is bad. Oh, this is really good for my cruisers. That's really good. The only problem that I do foresee with this particular battle is that I'm too slow. I suspect that my ships might not be able to keep, uh, catch up to that battle cruiser. I didn't see how fast she is. I didn't catch that. Oh. Never mind. Nothing outruns one of the 11 inch shells from the heavy cruiser. It looks like they spent not enough <laughs> on bulkheads. Oh, dude. You poor little thing. We've been what? We haven't even been fighting the 10 minutes. How many bulkheads you got? Standard? You cracked her open in five, six compartments. Yeah, I suspect that might have something to do with it. Armor? Plenty. So I guess what I got... <laughs> what I got was a lucky hit there. Yeah. Uh, watch this thing turn on a dime now. As she notices the torpedoes and goes, Oh, oh. Gotta do something about that. And promptly appears to be able to use the bow thruster in turn. There goes the Ushio. Cabo launched all of her torps. They're somewhere in this wake. One. I don't know. There's the other torp. The AI is just <laughs> ridiculously good at dodging torpedoes. They know exactly, exactly what kind of gap they need for their ship to squeeze through. How much they need to use the rudder and when to turn it back. And Beyond telling a ship to go forward or reverse and turn, you as a player just don't have that. And supposedly the feature, at least this is what the dev said in the patch log, the feature to use manual rudder control was removed because it was causing bugs and issues and players were abusing it. Yeah, because the AI is absolutely not abusing it. Remind me how that's different. Come on. Can we just wrap this thing up? A nice little 51 million cruiser you got there. Three of my heavies could probably have done the job. You can't pen? Oh, there she goes. Well, that was an interesting... Eh, 10 minutes? That's going to be a massive insult to the Chinese fleet. There you go. Um, This, again, ups my victory score. But... It could still be down to the army to lose the war for me. The Chinese have, off-screen, offered peace quite a few times. Every time I have turned them down, I've said no. No, thank you, we're not doing that. I hope that was the right decision. Because if we lose this war, then I'm probably going to have to pay a lot. Oh, this is very nice. The Guilin already took damage. The Sun Sike also took damage. I've lost 10 transports in East Asia, and I've lost 8 also in East Asia. Well, at least we're making some progress. We're not losing as many as the Chinese are. How is this going? 30... 42%! Not bad. East Asia. How am I losing transports in East Asia? The Chinese don't have any power projection. That makes no sense. Ah, mines have been deployed. Excellent. That makes these two ports utterly useless. The port of Port Arthur still has a nice minefield around it. And that does look like the battleship is not that keen on going out. 
Also might have something to do with the nine heavy cruisers that are parked around there. What else do we have? Convoy. No. Those Sendai's are so bad. They're just meat shields for something bigger. This is why Alter is all... Oh, there's the Sun CK. This could be interesting. I'm willing to bet that my Yumi classes, even if they're not the newly updated ones, can take out the battleship. The problem is catching it, because I'm still slower. As for the others, maybe torp it and sh force it to slow down. I suspect that that is going to be instrumental for allowing the heavy cruisers to get close, so that we can easily take them out. That's the plan. So, heavy cruisers Kaikoma and Tone. Seasoned crew on the Tone. She's seen some action. And let's get the DDs close together. Let's not turn the torpedoes into action mode just yet. Oh, we're going that way then. Please, this way. Let's see. Where's the enemy? They're close. Weather? Ooh, this is not good for me. Weather's pretty good, which means that the enemy might get some pretty good shots off. But the ship has already taken some damage. She might be suffering from damage instability. Wait, you've seen the Kaikoma. And the Tony, there she is. There she is. Go to HE. 12 clicks out from the heavies. Turn a little bit starboard. Tama. Just try to make your way over there with the DDs. You're not as quick by a substantial margin. But maybe you can serve as a useful distraction. Oh, there's their heavy. What are you sporting? Shit. She's carrying 11s. Ooh, that's not good. That's really ungood. Um, oh, no, 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 no. Thank you. Thank you. I'm surprised you're not dead. Oh, wait. Work in progress. Okay. This is your target. Launch your torps if you can. Heavy cruisers. Chance to pen. Not bad. Not that bad. Just don't launch torps. We've still got other ships in peril. <clears throat> okay. You've launched your torps. Now you can back off. Really, this thing took 4,000 points of damage and it's not dead. Oh, flooding. Very good. 1,600 damage as we fully penned our battleship. With the 11s on these heavy cruisers. Stop switching target. Oh, it's the Ying Yuan. We've seen her before, haven't we? Okay. So, Sun CK. <clears throat> you're already working with angle issues. Because you're still trying to hit a light cruiser. In the meanwhile, you're getting slowly but definitely ripped apart by the heavy cruisers. Oh, that ain't good. Turn back. 70% buoyancy. And pen? Ish. Really not that likely. Our heavy cruiser is doing an awful job, but... Well, no, not... It, actually, it's not. No, sorry. It's doing a great job getting a really good accuracy against the Tama. And it's been hit. The Tama has been taking hits. Lovely. Okay. You can probably hear my cat in the background. I'm not sure why. Looks like she might have an opinion on whether or not the heavy cruisers can get this done. Oh, she's badly angled again. Partial pen, fire. Okay, again, sneak up behind that ship and make sure that they're unable to bring all those guns to bear. If you can damage guns while you're doing it, all the better. A little more power to you. If we can find convoy ships, Fantastic, but right now I think they're just an urban myth because I've never even seen a convoy ship in all the convoy missions that I've done. Doesn't mean they don't exist, but it's it's a bit odd. Put it that way. 
Alright, soon CK. 0.4% chance to pen. But I can still set fires. You've lost 20% of your crew. I've lost about two. Secondary tower damaged. It's been a long, long time since I was actually able to take down a ship using crew loss. That was the uh, Europe and Embers campaign. I think that's the last time I was able to do that. Just burn away as much crew as you can. And make sure that the enemy doesn't get an opportunity to get the fires under control. So either the ship burned out of control, or you hit him so many times with HE that the crew just died. But then the devs kind of nerfed the ability to do that, and since then I haven't seen it happen. And structural integrity on the Sun CK is just dropping far faster than loss of life is, so... You are turning, though. Turn with her. So this is your opportunity to finish her off. It might cost you some damage. Yes. That's what I'm looking for. This is when we can get the pens. This is when we can get to launch the torps. Fire. Boom. Everything missed. The torp will not. And the torp will hit more or less in the bows. Which is the part that I hadn't flooded yet. So that's now been resolved. And the battleship is no more. Who's next? You. Oh, yeah, I see how it is. Now you're running? No, good man. Staying and fighting, doing the honorable thing? Is that expensive? That's yeah, 42. Boom. Destroyed secondary tower. Do you even have a secondary tower? Yeah, it's minuscule. It's where the flag is. They do have a secondary tower, but... Not that present. I think at this angle we're both gonna struggle to actually pen anything. Oh, you're not? Oh, you got 11.9s. If you angle like this, though... Kaikoma, don't do anything stupid. Yeah. Turn, then, if you must. Split the diff. Speed up. <clears throat> I don't want to lose this heavy cruiser. But it is time for the Tony to take point. What are you doing? Why are you not hitting? There you go. Okay, speed. Okay. They don't sport torpedoes. They do have maximum bulkheads. They're really survivable ships. Lots of armor, lots of bulkheads. Chance to pen 14%, chance to pen 14%. We're even. And so far as that can be trusted. But my chance to pen them is going up. My chance to pen me is staying the same. It's because they're turning to starboard. 30% ish. Come on. Yes, destroy another casemate. Give him something else to worry about, like a torpedo. The reload on these guns. 40 seconds. What's the reload on yours? 65. Bigger guns, bigger punch, bigger reload. Boink. Couldn't get the torp off. That coma almost rammed into the battleship there. Come on, dude. Let's go get him. They're making themselves a really appealing target again. Why are you missing like this? This range? 1.7 kilometers. We got a 98% accuracy. I expect results. Locked. Well, at least you hit him. Because that's something. Uh, you are about to fire. Okay. I need you to turn the other way, and I need you to launch a torp. Do so quickly, because we can still turn the ship to starboard then. The starboard torpedo launcher disabled, or what? Oh, it's functional. There we go. Our turn. Try to angle the hull again. 
they immediately notice the launch. Boom, destroyed funnel. Can it do anything about that in time? Mm, yeah, kind of, because they were already going... No, they got him. Cork got him. That's flooding on the bows. Well, the end of the... Sh yeah, there you go. The end of the cruiser, Ying Yuan. Job done. No idea where the convoy ship is, and the game doesn't tell you either. So we'll just have to assume that they're gone. Got 5,000 victory points out of it. I'm happy. Maybe that can make up for some of the losses that the army took. I hope so. Let's see what the army is doing over the next couple turns. A few months later, I have a problem. The Empire of Japan failed to gain control of Kaochu Bay. So my naval invasion failed. That's interesting. Um, I haven't had that happen yet. I thought I had plenty of forces in position. The Chinese Navy has been reduced to 31 ships. Most of those still those pesky heavy cruisers. But their battleship group has been diminished substantially. Um, thankfully, the, even though the invasion failed, I didn't... What? Oh, here we go. Sorry, this is where I'm trying to land. Um, this didn't cost me a ton of victory points. The 136,000 victory points that I have now are definitely because I've been beating up battleships and cruisers. But the Japanese... Sorry, the Chinese didn't get a whole bunch of victory points, thankfully. There are still some skirmishes here and there, and I'm still waiting for this one to complete. We are at 69%, which uh, yields a mandatory nice. Beyond that, the other troops are still moving in from the other directions, yet seemingly have made absolutely no progress, zero advance, and I'm beginning to suspect that it is these losses, 42,000, 31,000, that are bringing the Chinese so many victory points. It's almost like... It's almost like if I add up all these losses and apply just a slight modifier, like this is 52k, this is 31k, so we're at 83k, uh, plus 42k, no, it doesn't add up to 108. You're going to be way beyond that. Still, um, this is something that the game does need to do a way better job at. I think that in a few turns, we should be able to get control over Manchuria. That's a 32 million pop province. Quite big. It's not generating that much money, though. I mean, Manchuria, with its 140... Sorry, with its 32 million pop, is generating as much as Germany New Guinea. Less, actually. Whereas these guys have well, about a thousand times fewer population. So, uh, I'm not sure how Germany New Guinea is suddenly so much more productive than the entire province of Manchuria. But, uh, well, let's see, we're going to have to try and take it first. Anyway, that's going to be something that happens probably in another episode. Because this one has run its course and soon we'll learn whether or not we will be able to take control of Manchuria. So join me for that in the next episode. Thanks for watching this one. I hope you enjoyed it and I'll see you soon for more.